Hey guys, in this video, we're going to take a look at how you can fix Windows computer cannot detect your second monitor. So um, there could be many, many reasons why your second monitor is not working. So let's go through some of the things you can try to um, diagnose and fix the problem. Okay, so the first thing that you want to make sure um, the monitor is connected to a power source. So make sure it is connected fully. If the plug is not connected fully, it may not work. And as well as this power source here, make sure it is fully connected. As well as the power adapter. If you're using power adapter, you want to make sure all the cables are fully connected. And at the back here, make sure it is fully connected. That is the first thing to try. Now at the back of the monitor here, there are different connector type. You got HDMI, VGA, and DVI. So make sure that all of these plug are fully connected. If it is kind of like loose or dangling like this, it might not work. So you want to make sure it is fully connected to the monitor, both on the monitor end and on the graphic cards end. Make sure they are both fully inserted and fully connected. Now while we are at the cable, you also want to make sure that the cables is not faulty. So double check on the cable, make sure the cables are working correctly. So here we've got the cables. Right here, this is a HDMI cables. Sometimes the connector down here can uh, go weak and over time it might break. So you want to double check to make sure that your cable is not a problem. If you have another spare cable around the house, try to replace it with a different uh, cable, either HDMI or this uh, VGA cable. Just replace it with another one. Okay, another thing is you want to make sure that it is uh, turn on so press on the power button there should be a small light here to make sure that your monitor is switch on so you can see this one is on once we turn on the power button this one should turn on so you want to double check to make sure it has power and it is turned on by pressing on the power button now on your monitor there is an input button or a source button you want to make sure that you press on that so that it goes to the right source because on your monitor it can receive multiple input and a certain monitor sometimes when you switch to between HD, uh, HDMI or VGA it will not automatically detect so you want to make sure that you press on this um, source button so that it goes to the correct channel so here on this particular Dell monitor you can see if I press on this um, input signal It will go to the right. Um, so we go to the right input. So if I keep pressing it, it will go now to analog input, and then so go to digital input. When you go to digital input, then you can see the monitor will not work. So make sure that you choose the correct input on your monitor by pressing on the input button or the source button. Okay, another thing that you can do is to try to restart your computer so click on the windows button and then click on shut down or sign out and then click on the restart button to restart your computer right there click on restart and restart your computer okay another thing you can try is to disconnect your input cable so in disconnected from your monitor and then also disconnected from your computer then restart your computer and then plug the cable back in and now try to select the correct input on the monitor and see if that works. Now also another thing to take note is that um, your display port, HDMI port, uh, might be different to the HDMI cable that you have. There are different kind of versions with HDMI cables. So you want to make sure that the HDMI cable that you have is compatible with the display port that is on the monitor. So you want to double check with your manufacturer um, instruction or manual to make sure that you have the correct cable for it. If you have multiple monitors at home, you may want to bring this monitor to a different uh, computer or connect a different computer uh, monitor to your computer and see if the monitor is a problem. So if you have another computer in a different room, bring this monitor and connect it to another computer. Then uh, double check to make sure the monitor is working. If the monitor is working, 
then perhaps the problem is could be a software or a driver that needs to be um, reinstalled on your computer and we will go through that in a minute now some graphic cards will offer, uh, will offer multiple ports so you can see here I've got a DVI a couple of HDMI ports on a graphic card right here so you might want to try different ports on your graphic card and see if that can fix the problem with not detecting a second monitor so try different ports on your graphic card this graphic card have quite a number of different ports for me to use Now if your computer have a lot of different peripherals connected, connecting to it, sometimes it can cause a conflict with your monitor. So what you can try to do is disconnect all the peripherals that you don't need it for now. Just disconnect them so that you can diagnose your monitor. Later on you can reconnect them. Uh, we just want to make sure that it's uh, all the connected device not causing a conflict with your monitor. So disconnect your, so if you have a webcam, a printer, scanner, or what, or whatever it is, just dis disconnect them and then uh, see if your monitor uh, will work. If it does not work, we can try something else. Okay, so sometimes it could not, be, um, hardware may not be the problems. So you might want to check your computer settings. So we're going to, uh, I'm running Windows 11 at the moment. So what I'm going to do is click on the Windows button and I will click on settings in settings you want to click on system and then we click on displayed and next in here you want to click on identified so make sure you first connect all your displayed and then click on identified your Windows computer should show the number one and number two displayed so you can see here it shows this is number one and this is number two. So just click on identify to see if it can detect the monitor or not. If uh, if the monitor can be detected, you should you should see um, two boxes at the top here showing the first displayed and the second displayed. So give that a try, and then you want to click on extend this displayed. So you can see here sometimes the option in here. Is set to show only one display or show only on the second display so if this is the case you might want to choose duplicate this this display or you might want to choose extend this display so make sure that it is not set to only one display you might want to have it um, extended or duplicate the displays so definitely uh, double check the settings in here now if you have a wireless display, then you might want to make sure it is uh, set up to your, on your Windows computer. So uh, if you are using Windows 11 in here, you can uh, uh, click on multiple display, then click on connect to a wireless display. If you are using Windows 10 on the left hand side menu, you can click on Bluetooth and devices and in here you can click on devices add device then in here click on wireless display or dock so click on that and make sure that on your monitor you have turn on discoverable and once it is turned on then the windows uh, windows computer should be able to detect uh, detect and add that wireless monitor to the computer and after that you can uh, use the monitor Okay, another thing that you could do is to make sure that your computer have the latest graphic card driver. So again, you want to go into settings, so click on the Windows menu button at the bottom. And then click on settings. In settings, you want to click on Windows update. In here, click on advanced options, now depending on which version of Windows you have. I have Windows 11 at the moment. If you have Windows 10, the menu will look a little bit different. So click on um, advanced options and then in here click on optional updates and then click on driver updates and in here you want to go down the list to check to see if there is any update for your graphic card 
if there is an update for your graphic card you might you may want to go ahead and update your graphic card drivers now if the graphic card option is not shown in here that means there are no updates available for your graphic card and there is no need to update to update your graphic card for now now it is possible that from time to time your graphic card drivers uh, can get corrupted so you might want to reinstall the drivers to do that you can click on the windows button right click on it and then click on device manager and in device manager expand display adapters and in here right click on your graphic card driver and then click on uninstall device and then click on uninstall and after that you can rescan your uh, device manager and we install the display adapters driver now after it has uh, uninstalled you may want to restart your computer and then open up device manager again and then click on scan for hardware changes and if it detects a new graphic card uh, is available on your computer it will attempt to uh, reinstall the drivers for you now if your graphic card or the monitor works before and after the computer did some update to your graphic card and then your second monitor does not work you may want to try and roll back the driver uh, for that so in order for you to do that again in device manager open up display adapters and then right click on the graphic card driver and then click on properties and in here you can click on driver tab at the top and go down and click on rollback driver now this option is disabled because I have not recently installed any new driver but if my computer have recently updated a new driver for this graphic card this option will become available so that I can roll back if uh, something goes wrong so give that a try and see how you go also okay so we have um, gone through all the different uh, different uh, possible things that could go wrong and you could try to fix your second monitor uh, not working so uh, I hope you can get it fixed uh, good luck and I wish you well and I hope you can uh, get your monitor second monitor working again thank you for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more videos